First, this noontime, though, I'm News News working some breaking news for you. Embattled former Coventry Fire Chief Paul Labadia is now a convicted felon. Only our cameras were rolling this morning when he pleaded no contest in a pension fraud case. Target 12 has been tracking this story every step of the way from the exclusive undercover investigation Where's the Chief back in 2014 to breaking today's major development on WPRI.com just about an hour ago. Target 12 investigator Tim White is live in studio now with this breaking story. Danielle, in 2015, Paul Labadia was indicted on two felony counts of obtaining money under false pretense and one misdemeanor count of falling, filing a false document. Just a short time ago in Providence Superior Court, Labadia admitted to the facts in the case. 3293A, the state of Rhode Island versus Paul Labadia. From not guilty to no contest, Paul Labadia changing his plea in a long-running pension fraud case. Investigators say the 52-year-old filed a false document in 2007 when he applied for a pension as a retired North Providence firefighter. But investigators say he didn't work as many years as he claimed and fraudulently collected nearly a quarter of a million dollars in retiree health and pension benefits. Last year, the state suspended his pension and the evidence was handed over to the state police. Just a political pawn in a chess game. Well, how, what does that mean? Who's playing politics, Mr. Lebedee? I'm a pawn in a political chess game. The pension case erupted onto the scene following a Target 12 undercover investigation that raised questions about his actions as a chief for the Coventry Fire District, a job he took after retiring from North Providence. The Fire District Board terminated Labadia in the wake of the Target 12 investigation. Judge Nettie Vogel set March 16th as sentencing day. Labadia faces up to 10 years for each felony count and one year for the misdemeanor. The judge says she will also handle details over Labadia's pension, which again was suspended by the state two years ago. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.